what's up YouTube? Sony India today showed us their brand new Sony RX100 Mark IV. Now this almost retains all the features, all the good thing of the RX100 Mark III plus improves upon that. This comes with the same 1 in sensor 20 MP resolution but now the sensor is a brand new sensor. It's an Exmor RS sensor as compared to or as opposed to the Exmor R sensor that the RX100 III did. Now that uh, RX100 RX103 had that XMOR R sensor, you still had that great low light capability, but the XMOR RS sensor makes sure that this guy can record some very, very high bitrate and very fast videos and still as well. Apart from that, the new feature that now it can record 4K internally, although only for five minutes, the RX102, which was released along with this, can record 4K internally for 29 minutes. That five minutes, uh, I think it's because of that overheating issue because you have a very small body here. So if if you can record for longer time that might overheat the body uh, although I'm assuming that but for five minutes only also it comes with the brand new s log 2 picture profile for very good you know those video grading uh, things and also now uh, it supports XAVC codec uh, where you can record up to 100 mbps although to record those cards just like other XAVCS um, you know e-mount cameras uh, you need to have as the XC cards basically 64 GB minimum card because now it needs that X fat file system and not the fat 32 file system now let's take a quick look at the body and the control system otherwise they're almost identical to the RX3 so you have a very lightweight magnesium body under uh, 300 grams you have the same Zeiss T type lens which is the highest grade lens that Zeiss makes for Sony out here the same 24 to 70 mm lens in 35 mm equivalent that the RX103 uh, poses uh, the aperture range would be 1.8 till 2.8 and you also have the focus fine tune ring out here on top you'd have uh, the shutter release button the zoom lever the shooting mode dial power button uh, and you also have the flash and the EVF out here the EVF comes out from here and automatically switches on the LCD as well as the zoom uh, that's the EVF and also the flash can be triggered right from there you can also tilt the flash in case you want to bounce the flash from the ceiling or somewhere on the back side you have that uh, three um, three inch uh, monitor it's non touchscreen monitor however it's articulated not 270 degree though and also you have the other buttons here the buttons because of the small size are very very cramped and very small size so if you have big fingers you might find it uh, difficult uh, to rotate the dial and press some of the other buttons you have um, your multi interface and the HDMI but one of the downside of this camera I think is at this price point at least we expected an external mic jack if not a sound monitoring headphone jack so it does not carry external mic or headphone jack as well you have NFC and Wi-Fi those are the usual features in new cameras these days also there's the battery and the SDHC card slot yeah so overall um, it's quite tough body for the size also very very pocketable under 300 grams very lightweight very nice I'm going to quickly show you the user interface which if you uh, have been operating Sony cameras should be very usual so once you go to menu you can see they are the arrangement is very familiar you have all these shooting modes video modes and all the stuff system modes and then your Wi-Fi mode playback mode and some of the other things you can uh, actually change many of things here see the image size it also supports a raw so you can go to raw and it will give you ARW files the image size for dual recording and then you have file formats now it supports XAVCS 4k XAVCS full HD but for that you need an SDXC card so minimum 64 GB high speed card there you also have an AF HFR settings and not the because this guy now supports up to 960 FPS of slow motion video for which you actually need to change the shooting mode dial to the mode called high frame rate HFR and also you can now change here into the menu you can go to the menu and in HFR settings you can change how many FPS do you want 240 FPS 480 FPS 960 now uh, remember depending on the FPS the video resolution is going to be smaller or larger you also have a quality priority and shoot time priority 
quality priority at 960 fps at least will give you two seconds and shoot time priority will give you four seconds but that will uh, adjust on the quality a bit uh, then some of the other you know settings and focus areas and it also comes with a built-in ND filter but that's only available in the auto mode now we're gonna uh, show you more um, you know menu items when this guy comes to our left for full review but for now guys that's a quick look at the brand new rx100 mark 4 uh, it will cost just under 17,000 Indian rupees. It costs in the US just under $950. It will be available almost immediately. Thank you.